Andrew McGahan for Severe MMA here at Akuma Fighting Championships, standing alongside Sean Paul Power. And Sean, I have to say, it's great to see you. So so quick after the last fight, a nice turnaround. You, uh, you didn't take as much of a break as before. No, no, I'm trying to stay more regular now. I'm fighting again at the end of this month against Jerry again. So I've got to keep on getting. I thought that it. fight was off. Maybe it is the first time I'm hearing about it. No. All right. No. Never <laughs> mind. Oh, um, Ryan Green. He was supposed to fight, I think, and uh, Ryan had to pull out. I think that's what I'm thinking of. And then I'm fighting. You meant to fight Jerry? Yeah. I think I'm fighting. And now you're Jerry fighting again. Jerry again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, we've got that out of the way. Talk, talk to me about tonight. I have to say, it seemed at the start he was really controlling the pace of the fight. He was landing some pretty hard leg kicks. He was. I, st- I started off slow today. I shouldn't have took that many leg kicks. I don't know what it was. I think it's the heat. I'm not sure, but I shouldn't have started off that slow. I'm disappointed in myself about that. It but is a sauna good. in there. It is a sauna. I felt good, though. I knew I felt slow, but I knew once I got into the rhythm of things, you know, yeah. it'd be okay. Andy Ryan seemed to calm you down in the corner, talk you down. He was looking for combinations, threes and fours, as opposed to single shots. And then you started uh, stringing them together pretty nice. Yeah, Andy, has been said to me all day, he's done it a hundred times. He knows what I'm good at, so he knows he's going to get me to win the fights. I have to say, it's pretty nice to see all these Team Rhinos up-and-comers coming up again. Um, not so much coming up, but more getting in there and being active again. As I said to Huey, it's great to see him back in yeah, action, because yeah. he was the guy that a lot of people were talking about at your gym. Exactly. I think when you're seeing lads like Neil Siri now and Reza winning in the US, see, we all know it's possible now. So we're all up there, we're watching these lads do it. So everyone's just giving it 110% now. Yeah, and talk to me about that Paul Redmond desk finish. Uh, he was absolutely <laughs> delighted. I was standing across from him. He shouted, Go for the knee bar, I think, before you'd even thought it. And it looked like you had lost it at one point. Tell me how you got it back. Yeah, so I was going for it the last time to go for it, and I kind of lost it. And I remember watching fights. And Sean, that he's, he's got some serious ground impairments. So I thought, if I don't get this, <laughs> you know, I'm going to get my face smashed. So I just gave it 100%. You know, he's a strong lad. He, he seemed a little bit annoyed at the knee bar. It was almost like he didn't know it was legal. I'm not too sure. That's just me. But lo- looking know. at his reaction. I've seen him holding his knee up. He's all real. I have a room there. Maybe have a drink with him. <laughs> and uh, you said, when are you next up? Two or three weeks? UXC yeah, again. UXC, so is this months. the plan for the rest of the year? Get in again, maybe battle zone? I've been telling Andy Ryan all day two things. For the last couple of months. First of all, Battle Zone, October 23rd, the night before UFC Dublin. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Good idea. Yeah. And Cage Thai fights on it as well. I, I, I was at Cage. Ca- oh, you're brilliant. You're talking about that. Stand in the pocket and just bait heads off each other. Brilliant. Yeah, it's yeah. very entertaining. So, your plan, rest of the year, stay as active as possible. Stay as active as possible. That's exactly. Lovely. Sean Paul, thank you very much for the time. Yeah, See you soon. Much.